just <laughs> so I'm laughing because I'm climbing up a steep bit in uh, Cotswold Way and in Cranham Woods, <laughs> one handed wobbling about trying to turn the video on <laughs> on my phone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm up by the top of the what they call the wall trail. Love it. Lots of new trails there now, I see. My original sort of still there, but lots of stuff off the side of it now. Anyway, I'm on my good old fatty. Wonderful to be back on big tires. The difference, I don't care what anyone says, it climbs better. It doesn't slip and slide about. I've got no suspension on the front, so just have to see how we go, but I normally run it. But I just popped up there, no problem at all. Even trying to open the phone halfway up. And um, yeah, I've just done that 70 mile ride round part of the Kemba 100 on a 29er. And I just, part of it, part of the reason I stopped, I mean, I was feeling sick after the last thing I ate, which, which at that point just tipped me over the, oh, sod it, I've had enough. But um, I really didn't enjoy it. I really missed the fat bike. It's the first proper ride I've done on a, not on a fat bike for years and years. In fact, I don't think I've ever been that far not on a fat bike. So it seemed, how can I put it? Hard work, boring, uh, less, uh, less able to tackle rough stuff, which is pretty obvious, I suppose. Having big tires and big grip, you're gonna be able to do more stuff. Yeah, I'm pleased to say that the fatty wins. And I, I get, I don't, I do go on about it. And I, I suppose it's frustration that people don't give them a go. Because I think they'd be quite surprised because it's just a simple hardtail that's very capable of doing lots and lots of things that you do on a very expensive, all singing, all dancing, full sus bike that costs a fortune. I mean, so I often think a lot of people would would benefit from just giving, chucking a leg over a fatty and having a bit of a laugh and just seeing. Ride the trails they normally ride. Oh, how much fun it is. We had a um, fat bike group ride this year, not long ago. Everyone was on fat bikes, obviously. They're all whooping and cheering and having a ball of a whale of a time. Single track, blasting down it, you know, climb everything. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going on and on and on <laughs> to stuff that you, you've heard before from me. So I'll shut up <laughs> and go ride my bike. I'm still out on the, on the fatty, me again. I'm on this and I have to say, I've just done a review on these tyres. These are new Schwalb Almighty's 26 by 4.8, nearly five inches of rubber and they are super, super grippy. These are the grippiest tires I've ever laid my hands on. Um, staggeringly grippy, up anything. Loose stone, rock, roots, you name it, they grip. You can tell, I, I mean, I'm used to fat bike tires, but these things are just make everything else redundant, I'm afraid. Don't know what I'm gonna do with my other tires now. It's just a shame I don't do a four inch version because they won't fit my other, my other bike, but yeah. Just had to stop. I'm going to do a long-term review on them, but I'm just sort of uh, putting this one out there that if you've got a bike that will take 4.8 inch tyres, buy these. Um, you won't regret it. They're not draggy. I really thought they would be draggy on the road, but they're not bad at all, considering how big they are. 